Okay, well, we are ready for part eight. Uh, get the headphones on there. We'll do part eight of our Do Not Go Gentle. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, where are you? And or, or, or more to the point, you might recognize where we're at because we did kill these bandits before, but we've got another mission to come back here. So in the meantime... Between uh, last, we last left and now, um, I checked out that thief quest. I had trapped thief in Whiterun, and I did track the thief down. But I couldn't intimidate them, I couldn't persuade them. And so I was sort of stuck. I couldn't kill them because I would be then arrested. So I just dropped that quest. I grabbed a couple others. So I have to retrieve Jensen Hallowed's Elven Greatsword. Jensen's Hallowed Elven Greatsword here. I have to deliver something to Iverstead, which is uh, down here. So on my way, bam, going to hit up the Bandit Pass here and then go down to Iverstead. That's, that's my initial plan. Um... So we're just going to ride the horse right up here. And we're going to try to find... I don't know if there's bandits here or not. I assume there are. I do not see any. I don't know. I mean, he just put the sword in here and just said, ah, you cleared them out. Because <laughs> um, that's what it's doing, right? Those missives are all random, right? So it's like randomly generates the quest and picks a spot. But since I've cleared this, man, don't even tell me that it's just like, yep, you cleared it. You're good. And it seems so. Oh, but I can't unlock the damn chest. Uh, <laughs> of course I can't unlock the chest. Uh, I don't have anything to actually help me unlock that chest either. Okay, well, I'm going to have to buy something or whatever, but I can't uh, can't complete this one, it seems. And there's a weirdly burned body sitting there. So that's that's a little disturbing, boys. So I'm going to say let's continue to Iverstead and get that done. Once more, the chest is the ultimate enemy in, uh, in Do Not Go Gentle. We also have to gather thistles. So we'll run back to the horse here. Iverstead's a good, good haul. Um... It's a pretty deep, big, decent uh, distance away. We will hopefully not. Uh, well, we can keep going, and it's just right at the end of this pass. So that's that was sort of my thought when I. Hey boys, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'll need to find some way to up my lock picking, or to maybe buy a scroll or something. I don't know that I want to burn perks on lockpick. It does suck that those quest chests potentially are locked. Like, but I mean that's just the way of the you know that's that is the way of the requiem mod, I suppose. Gotta live with it. So now we're coming down the other side of the mountain here. <coughs> God, I think I'd be terrified riding down there. <laughs> that hill is it's like a cliff to your to your left. Oh. And something up ahead. Holy crap. Okay, well I don't like that either. Oh jeez, incoming. Just a highway woman. Oh, that wasn't enough damage. Oh, 
regard. Not too dangerous, and we uh, we took care of that pretty well. Uh, I mean, those dwarven boots are good uh, value to weight ratio. I'm gonna take it. Um, <laughs> the age old question. I just ran past. Nope, that was uh, where did the damn horse go? Gosh darn it, horse. Uh, where did you go? Where the horse went. <laughs> oh, there you are. I saw that blue tail. That flash of blue tail. Um, I think we're going to go sneak up. Not sneak, but just see what the hell this is. If this is a thing. Ruined Toll and Wismoth Mother's Well. I don't want a Wis Mother's Well. That sounds horrifying. That you got no range with a weapon, but you're quick with a shield. There's a strong box. And a cool book, conjuration book. Can I unlock it? Oh, 40. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to fight a Wis Mother. That's that's not okay. Um, that sounds like, that sounds like she would kill me. Let's grab the horse. <clears throat> and take a quick peek here. Iverstead is just to our left. So literally, if we just cut south. Now, mind you, through the woods is always a dangerous proposition. <laughs> I did also pop, uh, tap a couple locations, right? Because I figured, well, since we're not doing the thing that we intended to do... Um, oh, there's a monster. A troll. Now, I might be able to get a troll with my boys, of course. I think... That troll is slowly coming here, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, not even that slow, really. The problem is the um, my the time it's going to take me to... Because we could really use some fire to counteract his healing. And our guys are... I mean, we chased him off-ish? Oh god, I'm chasing him like an idiot. Well, he is running for the hills. Right now. Man, but he totally healed, too. That was that's pretty awesome. Okay. But I, I, so I popped a couple uh, uh, adventure locations. In addition. Dark Water Overhang. I suppose I could loot this trolls. That's the Nern route going off there. And what I don't want to do is get caught by this dude. Nah, it's sort of boring. It's not really a thing. Nor do I want my horse to get attacked by the troll. But why don't we get on the horse? Come on, horse. Come on, bud. And let's uh, mostly get out of dodge here. So, oh, Iverstead. The problem with Iverstead is... Where the hell's the road? How do we actually get to there? <laughs> it's, it is quite the... The jaunt. Is that a road? I suppose that is effectively a road. All right, well, let's go. And by road, I mean a bare patch of of, of tundra. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. 
All right. Looks like there's a little mini town up here. Like a mill and a couple farms. Oh, it's Iverstead. This is Iverstead? Okay. That's cool. It's a little closer than I thought. The courier running up to us. Was was he trying to get to us? Got something I'm supposed to Looks like that's it. Got to go. So I did, in theory, commission a bow, but it is a heavy bow. It does a ton more damage, but it is a heavy bow. So what I was wondering, and this could be dumb, I was almost considering, should I take two bows, use the heavy one for sort of sniping purposes, and then once the enemy closes, swap to the second bow, and then I can kite. The answer is, I don't know. That might be a great idea, and it might be totally useless, but... I was certainly considering it. You're an Iverstead. We're going to deliver the potion. Thank you. Here, this is for you. 150 bucks, 40 XP. Very nice. Journey, milady. Oh, she's a neckbeard. <laughs> she milady me. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um... Speaking of neckbeards, I've shaved <laughs> because I can feel it. That's the worst thing ever is to be able to feel like the hair on your face. I do not know how like Orthodox folks do it. It's or on the Amish or whatever. It's just so much beard. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I just I don't like to shave every day because I am lazy, but. So I like the fact that this town like has a dungeon right here. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, this is where the kids hang out. Brown Hearth Barrow. I don't assume there's actual like the answer is right there. Now we bury there are dead in there. They they walk around, it's fine. Occasionally you can hear them at the door. Shh, it's good. It's good. So, uh, oh, we can't do the, Darren, Darren, you're right. We cannot do the, um, the great sword because we cannot unlock the chest. So there's a couple things going on. I think what I want, I want to get a better bow, just in general, get a better bow. That could be that big bow and do the, the, the convoluted, uh, uh, you know, use, use two bows. It could be going and trying to find, going to various towns and trying to find a better bow. Well, one of my goals, let's just go see what's in this ruined house too while we're here. This looks like a shack, like a little homelessy shack kind of thing. A couple bed rolls, nothing, uh, nothing to be concerned about, folks. No vampires or nothing. Or is it? Don't know. Just an elk just hanging out. Oh right, and this is the way up to the um this is the way up to the the graybeards, the shouty dudes. I'm not gonna go there because and that's part of the main quest. I certainly don't need to go there. What's this guy doing? Five hundred steps to each marker, then maybe. Ah, this is pointless. Arakini can make the rely on shortcuts. On your way up to seven thousand steps again, Clement. Seven thousand steps. I don't think there are seven thousand. But this does leave me to back to what to do. 
which is too bad. I thought we were going to have a big fight at the uh, at the pass. But the answer is we've got to find ourselves a job. We've got to gather thistles, sure, but we have to get ourselves a job. So uh, let's see here real quick. We could go to Riften, although we have to pay to get into Riften because the guards there are corrupt. Um, uh, we could... We could do the Dark Brotherhood, which is... The, an evil quest for certain. Uh, do we have a blessing? Yeah, I don't think we have a blessing. So we haven't been like relying on a a blessing from the gods because if we start going down the evil side, that probably goes away. The ability to take those blessings. Um. Dark Brotherhood would have shrouded armor. And I'm still wearing some of the shrouded armor, but but you'd have you'd I mean you might even get even better stuff. I don't know. I, I got pretty lucky on my initial roll. Um so there is that. I have another cloak to wear. That's that's exciting. So <sighs> we might have to pick a lock to do the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Which I probably can't do. Ugh. What does what does lock picking look like? So that's plus twenty, plus twenty five. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna have to suck it up. We could go try to find knock scrolls somewhere. Uh, we could do the Thieves Guild, which also has at least decent stuff, though I don't know if we can get through the Thieves Guild either. So I don't know, because that's part of the problem is, um, you know, because everything's deleveled. I actually don't know how hard it gets if, if we run into a dead end or not. Now that I can at least vaguely pick a lock... I could do the Thieves Guild if I wanted to. I could start it. I'll tell you, there's one thing I do want to do before anything else, though, and I do. I do. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the bench. It's gonna cost me a hundred bucks. Back to White Run. Check the missive board real quick. If there's something to Rorikstead, I'm going to go to Rorikstead. And I am going to buy some livestock. <laughs> Hold on. So let's go see. We will check the missive board before we go to Rorikstead, just because there's usually deliver a weapon to Rorikstead. So we might as well get that free uh, experience and money. No reason not to. In addition, we can sell these dwarven boots that we're carrying around. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking, looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Uh, we have dwarven boots. And amethyst, so we'll sell both of those. Very Don't nice. To check inside the shop if you need anything. And just in case, we will check as missive board. No, yes. Uh, deliver to Riverwood. Now let's deliver to Aurora instead. 
we could do Riverwood, but let's go to Rourke instead. We 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 uh We could retrieve the heirloom and clear out Green Green Spring Hollow. Welcome. Let me know if you want if it's work you need. How about shopping? Uh I'm here for that delivery job. Okay. Here, take a look at I'm looking for work. We're trying to get a job. This is what we're doing. We we are desperately looking for work. Need anything else? Just let me know. Uh do we have Oh, I don't want tundra cotton. That's silly. Uh, I don't want the meat either. If I'm to be honest. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Now let's sell you the mead. and then, frankly, I would buy more stew. If you have stew, I will buy stew. Uh, do you have any stew? <laughs> do you not have stew? You literally throw meat into water. Come on. <laughs> nope. Not a like a stew. I don't see it. Meat pie? No. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay. Boiled cream treat. It ups my magic, but that doesn't doesn't really help much. Although, I mean, that might be useful. I'm a little disappointed. I thought, I thought for sure. I think I've got some mugs need scrubbing. Oh, and the travel pack. Hold on. I think the travel pack is fast travel. Hold on. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Two hundred ninety-three bucks. Ugh, that is a lot. That's three hundred dollars. I'm gonna buy one because, uh, but it's ten. It's ten pounds. Heck with that. Jesus Hi. Lord. Okay. You know what I need? A goat. <laughs> if I just had a goat, that would all make sense. Um, so I picked up the letter. Let's get to Rorikstead, and we'll we'll go from there. In the meantime, I also have a bandit boss. At Outcast Camp. Which is very near Roaringstead, so that was a good that was a good call. And I have Green Spring Hollow, which I have no idea where that is. Uh, vaguely on the way, perfect. So so that's, this is a good run. Are we carrying too much crap? We're carrying about seventy four pounds of crap. Most of that is gold. <laughs> Or quite a bit of its gold. I really wish. I need a house. <laughs> I need. I need something. I need a place I can just dump the gold. I can't. I can't get in there. I don't know how much that costs to buy Breeze with Breeze Home. Plus, I'm looking for a bow. Maybe, just maybe. There's oh I should have went I should have checked uh, Drunken Huntsman just because it's right here. So hold on, sorry, a little bit, a little bit clunky. Let me go to the Drunken Huntsman and do a quick cursory check. Maybe last time they had I didn't have anything I wanted. Maybe this time they've reset, uh, restocked. I think every couple days they restock. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Hello, friend. In the market, take a look. So let's see what you got. You have an elven bow of lethargy. Oh, a bow of blizzards, 10,000 bucks. Uh, I mean... Oh, if only I, if I had 10,000, I would just drop it right now because that would be so sweet. A hundred points of damage. 
Now that does a lot of stamina, so that would be a definite. Um, that's a definite uh, killer of bandits for sure, because you would you would tire them out very quickly after a couple hits. Is it worth thirty three hundred dollars? Oh freaking no! What do I have? Thank you. That's not showing the. Uh, so I have an Elvish bow well made. 57. I, I think I'm just going to keep it and not worry about it. What? Are you doing that for? what? We okay? We good? Does someone hate me now? What's going on? Five toggle enchantment on the right. Okay. So let's go to Rorikstead. I'm going to buy a goat. I'm going to buy a goat in Rorikstead. You will see. I heard about this. I'm like, I want this. <laughs> I, wa I want the goat. So we're going to climb on the horse, and we're just going to bolt to the west. We got a couple places to stop off in the meantime. So quick map check. We're heading for Greenspring Hollow, first thing. Heading vaguely to the X. A little bit of a jaunt. I should really pause the damn, get better at pausing the, uh, the, the, the recording here for you. I wonder if I could hotkey that somehow. Okay, so, yep, all right. So we're gonna go north a little bit, across the water at least. And then we're gonna, yeah, cut, cut westish. Whoa, and there's a right, right into a pit. Okay, we're getting there. Something's happening. Oh my god, something something ate those dudes. <laughs> someone someone I think a bear just gutted that guy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh let's get the boys here. Let's get my spell up. Let's get the bow out. Let's approach gently because I don't get killed. Yeah, there oh yeah. Oh my god. It's like a bear family is killing that man. And now me. Oh shit. Well, let me get up there. Okay. Okay, that bear's dead at least. Uh, nope, he's coming for me, and he's going to get here in a second. I'm going to go down. Haha, -ha, suck it. All right. <laughs> All right, that bear's dead. I hate Skyrim bears. I'm not a big fan of bears in general. Like, it's a freaking giant killing machine. Oh, God. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dang, okay. Uh, bear is dead. Sure, I'll take the pelts for now. Sign of my dominance over nature. I think another lockpick, too. That's the best. I'll read a book for 2 XP. 
chest. All right, there we go. First tried that chest, which is nice. Oh, there's a silver necklace. There we go. That's what we needed. I, I, I'm glad this wasn't another case where I couldn't do it um, because of a lock. So, okay, we, we, that's it, done. Necklace collected. Um, let's go check, let's go check this place out too. Is there, there are guys up here? Or did the bears literally kill every human? I think they killed all these dudes. Oh my God, it's hilarious. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy crap, that's nice. And he's got scale armor, which is not terrible in terms of its uh, value. Skuma, because every, every bandit's a meth head. This inventory, XP, two XP. All right, beautiful. I'll take it, I'm so not proud. <laughs> Ooh, two XP. This is that game, man. If you like grinding XP, this is this is definitely your game. Ah, oh, please tell me I can open this. Oh, 40. Thwarted. All right, so that is cleared. We now have to go to the outcast camp. I wish I could whistle for this horse. I don't think he's really my, I don't think he counts as my horse. Like I didn't buy him. So he just follows me out of, he's like a cat. <laughs> he just, he follows me out of convenience. Like if I don't, if I'm not, if I'm not furthering his agenda, he could not care less about what I'm doing. All right, so now we are, I like kill some things. Sure, I will kill some things. <laughs> uh, yes. Now we're going to go kill some more things. Drink some coffee here. Well, I hope you're enjoying the uh, Skyrim. I totally have. Oh. Oh, I do not have. I do not have a a sword. Out. Do I have a sword out? No, I need to favorite a sword. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to favorite this. Uh, and the reason I didn't have it anywhere was because I didn't want to use... There we go. Yeah, I didn't want to recharge it. So I turned off... Um, oh, geez. So again, I turned off using the enchantment. Which Requiem will allow you to do because because the enchantments are valuable. You might not be like in normal Skyrim, everyone can enchant. You just if you have a soul gem, you pop. You know, you just pop it, and it will that magic goes back into the sword. Um, because not everyone can enchant. I think in this version. They decided to allow you to just say, I don't want to use the enchants on this weapon right now, so that. And then that way you don't have to pay someone uh, to, to do it. So we are getting close ish. Let me save real quick. There's the camp right there. So there's my horse. Um, that's fine. Let's cast. Oh, I totally missed him. There we go. Ah, oh, I totally missed him too. That's a wizard. He needs to die. Wizards need to die. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. All right, those low-level archers, I, I love killing them because they have the same problem I do, which is they are fairly weak to piercing arrow fire. I am wasting a lot of ammo by uh, doing what I'm doing here. All right. That was a successful outing. Uh, took less than... Uh, I, I like when it takes... I don't have to recast the arrows. Uh, is there anything out here? Can I loot something out here? Let's go to first person here and see. There's a couple open... Unlocked chests, which I appreciate. These bandits are very uh, polite. About a hundred ish bucks, 101 bucks. Again, I appreciate that they have cash. I don't know if anything have. Oh, I like how the spirit arrows stick. I'll take the silver arrows for. I'll take this. I'll take steel too. That uh, that uh, scale bracers, sure. Bracers are generally good, like I said. As in boots and bracers. Now, mind you, I don't get anywhere near the money, just because of the trade ratio that it sort of imposes. Uh, I'm gonna give you the scale armor. Oh, geez. I still have everything, right? Did I, I? I think I accidentally. I think we're good. The problem with me clicking so fast is, um, is that when it starts taking things off the list that they it doesn't that he won't carry anymore because he's out of weight. Uh, that causes me trouble. I will take a scroll of ice spike. I love the look of some of this armor, but none of it matches the the elven armor. So we're going to stick with the elven armor. All right, looks like we're going in. We will need to recast. Come on, draw the bow. There we go. Take this dude's head. I do really appreciate the fact that it takes his head. Like, I appreciate that a great deal. I don't think there's anybody else here. Well, there's a chest, though. Read his journal for 3 XP. Done. And you're not even locked. I mean, these chests suck, but... So, in the other... I'm playing another uh, Requiem base mod that actually puts shit in chests. <laughs> Which is nice. It's actually... Occasionally, it's nice to... You know, take a thing and actually get uh, a thing. I appreciate. I'm going to take both of those soldier armors. And we'll see if we can't give one to either of these guys. I don't think I can give one to What's-His-Nuts. No, he's he's done. He's done taking weight off me. Um... Uh... Gore might be able to take one of these. Oh, he might be able to take two of these. Great, so he just popped 50 pounds. That was nice. That was a good, good fight. That out, both of those fights. I'm starting to get to the point where bandits 
not as hard. Not every mo most banded fights now are dicier for them than they are for me, which is it's good. That's a good. Gotta find the horse though. I thought he was somewhere near that outcropping. <laughs> There he is. All right. Takes a little bit. So now uh, we just need to get to Rorikstead, which is close by. Um, retrieve, retrieve, deliver a letter. And that is that way. We've actually not been to Rorikstead in this this uh, with this crew, I don't think. See some farms to the left there. What the hell was? Did you hear that? <laughs> was that just me? <laughs> oh, shit! Well, I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna save. Oh, jeez. Oh, he pissed the horse off. Dude, you don't you don't piss the horse off. I think the horse just killed her. You, you don't you don't screw with the horse. A cryomancer. I love that. Uh, crafty robes. I mean, I'm taking the staff because I think I'm going to guess that the staff is saleable. That was quite the disturbing little, you know, just hearing the explosions and then there's flames and then an icy blizzard choking down your... <laughs> So let me turn this quest in real quick. Sill delivery service. It's a hardcore mod. I'm effectively a bike bike courier. Huh? Thank you. Here. This is for you. All right, we got 25 bucks and 20 XP, so that's cool. Um, okay, and so that is that. So the question then is, oh, the goat. Sorry, I mean, man, make sure I get the damn goat. That that would be somewhere. There's a goat. I thought I had. Where's the goat? I thought I had a quest for the goat, but I don't have a quest for the goat. That sort of thing. So where's... Can I ask him about the goat? Keep that magic away from me. Yes, sir. Of course. Can I buy your goat? I'll buy it for 200 bucks. Sure. All right, let me greet the goat. We can learn about the goat. Um, and there's also a rabbit and a skeever and a spider. So we can actually find all the pets or whatever. The nice thing is the goat has an inventory and I can start loading the goat up. <laughs> because, because I can. I am not proud. This goat is going to be carrying all. This is my this is my drug mule goat. <laughs> yes. Um.
I mean, can I just put all of the gold on the goat? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know why I have tundra cotton. That's just silly. Ah, this is one. Ah, the goat. Oh, I'm down to 48 of 150 pounds. I don't care about the rest of you. <laughs> that, that goat gives me the one thing I need, which is carry capacity. <laughs> Yay, go. Okay. So we bought the goat. That's it. Episode's over. The whole series is over. I've won. I bought a damn goat. Okay, so let's <laughs> figure out what is the next thing to do. The next thing to actually do, frankly, is that I have to turn all these damn quests back in. So I don't really care about the goat as much as I care about. I got to return the necklace, right? There's these three things. I believe that all of them, I'm fairly certain that all of these are in white run. So first thing is first, we've got to get back to white run. And definitely, and I think if I'm to be honest, I think I am going to cheese it and just just take a take a bus back here. We're gonna wait for the bus. Go back to White Run. Pay a hundred bucks. It's fine. Turn in all the quests. Uh, are we doing this? No. I did. did it just take my money for no good reason? <laughs> I want to go to a city. You don't have enough stuff. Oh, <laughs> because I... Okay, goat. You're right. I would like about a thousand bucks. Okay, that was funny. I gave the goat all my money. Literally, the goat took the bus back. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> um, the best part is when this. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but it's literally the best. All right, we're going to go and we're going to. Wow, it is dark out here. This is when I accidentally run down three kids. Uh, you know, the best thing is having the, the goat follow you around in a dungeon and, and bah at you. <laughs> bah. Like, oh my god. Shh. Quiet, goat. Quiet! That crazy. So let's turn these quests in. Maybe... Maybe we go to like solitude or something. Here's your necklace, bro. This is for you. Stay out of trouble. Gave me two fifty. And and a reasonable bit of XP. So you know, I, I don't don't mind that XP. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready. Are you joking? Nice. Was that that was just a day, huh? We just we spent less than a day out and about. Uh, we're going to wait till tomorrow anyway, so that we can find the rest of the folks, sell, do that whole thing before we head out. Does she have any stew? How about shopping up? Let's save that appetite, huh? Apple pie? Eh, it's only, it's 10 magic. Uh, 
Uh, I can buy a travel pack now because the goat can carry us. <laughs> I'm doing it. I want to know what fast travel, you know, what, what the capabilities of that thing are. And you guessed it. We're going to give it to... Our goat buddy. Uh, we do need to find the rest of the people here. Oh, uh, Preventus. So just, just go to uh, the, the big building, the capital, the Jarl's longhouse. That dude's out again, doing his thing. Excuse me, okay. I wouldn't mind buying the house, but again, I'd also like to get a, a, a decent I weapon. I love I love the mustache. Excellent. Cleared it. You've done us a great service. Here's get 250, reward. which isn't great, but sure. Excellent. Get that one. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. It costs seventy five hundred for a homestead outside of the city. You know, I I would consider paying for that. Um, and I'm gonna have it soonish, but that's a lot of cash to drop. In the meantime, though, we have leveled up, and so the question is. I think stamina's fine. I think this conjuration perk was huge. The next one is 50, so we're gonna have to get the conjure 50. So let's look at marksman. Uh, marksman is 40, so what do we need for quick shot? 60, ugh, okay. So we've got a bit to go on those. Illusion still wasteful. But having said that, these perceptive illusions, I will consider that for sure. Uh, that's about it. We're just going to sit on it for now. Yeah, I'm just super curious. How much does... She's carrying 5,500. I'm carrying 5,500. So we have 7,000-ish or thereabouts. We probably do need to do a cell run. So let's do that real quick. I would consider buying a house. It'd be nice to have a place to drop all my crap. He is speaking truth to power. <laughs> Howling at the wind. Uh, so first things first, let's go to, let's go to Bellathor. Let me know if you see anything you like. Oops. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're trinkets. I hands. will, I, I got some relatives. Uh, still haven't used the potion of paralysis. I'll sell the two garnets. I should go pop those treasure chests too. All the the uh, the two treasure maps I have. Let me let me get all the extra stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell the staff. I'm not a big staff user. I'm going to sell the fireball, even though I will likely regret it. Oh, 
Boop the skooma for sure. Uh, okay. I don't want the tundra cotton either. That's just silly. Okay. What else do we got here? So let's do value. He has a staff of fireball. You know what? We're going to sell that too. If Gore has anything. You just let me know what you need. I, some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Uh, yeah, so we're going to dump. Oh, yeah, we're dumping both of these. He only has 19 gold. Well, that stinks. I said no, didn't I? Or did I say yes and just get... Yep, I said yes somehow. I thought I said no. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, Does he have anything for sale? It's a hundred hundred x dollars that we wasted there. Uh, I mean, he has nice arrows. We should keep that in mind. 17 orc arrows. Also good. I think we're just going to sit on what we have for now. Necklace of lock picking for twenty four hundred dollars. Who increase frost resistance by forty? Also good. A ring of a ring, a ring of recuperation. Oops. Do I have a ring on? Am I where? Am I doing ring? I have a ring of minor conjuration. Well, that is pointless, actually. I think we're gonna buy a ring. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I like the necklace too, because you could pop that on, and bam, thirty. Expertise increased by 10 is only going to give me a 30, though. So it doesn't give me the rest of those. For 1200 bucks, you get 100% stamina regen. That is really good. Increased stamina by 40 is not bad either. It's, it's equivalent of eight levels of stamina. So think about that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that. So that's going on right now. What's the point of paying for stuff when you can just kill for it? You know what, Gore? That is a fascinating point of view, sir. <laughs> Gore's like a an anarchist. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing paying for shit? <laughs> He's like the devil on my shoulder. So that uh, that wasn't a, a sell run as much as it became a buy run, right? So, so I am all about increasing the stamina recuperation. Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, have the finest weapons and armor. Uh, we can sell the Ring of Conjuration, and that's... We can sell the boots. I will sell the Ring of Conjuration. We're not going to use it now. Um, conjuring 10% better does not do us a great deal of good. Uh, I st still am loath to sell... Good doing business with you. The... Uh, the Ring of Illumination, because somehow I feel maybe that's useful at some point. Uh, so La Hilda has nothing for us. Uh, I could ditch the Axe. In theory, I have all that that I can. So there we go. Sven. We'll lighten Sven up. 
Uh, I'm surprised none of you are using that. 132 versus 121. I'm surprised you're not using this. I'm going to take that from him and get him to use the uh, the one with flames because because flames because fire. We've got small weapons. Take a look. And so we will sell the battle axe, the two things of armor, the scale, all the hides done. We have seventy six carry weight again. How the hell did that happen? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Why do I have so much carry weight? I was down to 40 something just a minute ago. Oh, I have a war axe that no one wants um, and an elven sword that no one wants. Okay. Just putting everything on the goat. Everything goes on a goat. All right, good. There we go. All right. I mean, I think we did pretty well here. We cleared out a bunch of quests. We've got ourselves a ring of recuperation now. I mean, the only problem we have at the moment we have, we have a we have a goat. <laughs> the only problem we have right now is simply a we cannot get this longsword because it is uh, locked away behind a chest we can't deal with. We have not yet retrieved the dragon stone, which I still don't think we can quite take the dragon. I'm going to wait till at least level 10-ish or something to, to see, or a better bow. We do not have a better bow yet. Um, I think that's about where we're at, and I think that's where we're going to stop this particular episode. So let's save up. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will talk to you uh, in a bit.